Dave Nawaziet. I'm the uh, Senior Product Marketing Manager, and I'm here today to talk about how service providers can deliver new services over their existing LTE network. And what we're doing, what we're showing here, is a service that provides enhanced road safety or improved road safety for ambulance drivers as they're making emergency calls and driving through busy city streets and intersections. We're utilizing new capabilities of load latency uh, technology that's uh, defined in the standards to offer this service. And our solution includes our AirScale radio product upgraded to support 4.9G low latency capabilities, our Cloud Packet Core solution with a distributed architecture and control user plane separation or CUPS, and our impact scene analytics that provides the video analytics that's used in this solution. Uh, what we found uh, through uh, data collection and reports in the United States that uh, ambulances are involved in fatalities and accidents, um, approximately 30 fatalities per, per year, as well as about 1,400 injuries involving ambulances. So it's a serious problem and a problem that we can actually uh, help to improve by providing visual aids and additional technology to the um, uh, ambulance driver as they're en route in, in um, transporting the patients. So what I'm going to show to you right now is a driver experience with this 4.9G capability. We've got uh, new uh, equipment uh, in the um, driver's cabin. We have an onboard uh, system that provides information about location, and we also provide a heads-up display for uh, the ambulance driver. So I'm going to begin the um, animation to show how an ambulance driver would be navigating through busy city streets going at approximately 75 kilometers an hour, and he's trying to get around traffic, going through traffic lights and intersections, and um, as he approaches an intersection, he will get an alert that will come up here. And this alert provides uh, information about uh, an impending accident or collision. And as you will see here in this um, uh, video uh, a application, the uh, time it took me to um, react once the heads up display provided this alert was about 671 milliseconds. So a little bit more than a half a second. Okay? And um, what we can show now is the analysis with the technology and without the technology. So on the left is the, um, is the solution with the low latency uh, capabilities built into the uh, ambulance uh, cabin as well as the LTE network. And on the right hand side is without the technology. You can see here on the left-hand side that um, the uh, traffic signals are equipped with um, traffic cameras that are mounted on the, uh, on the signals. And what's happening here is that we are examining that intersection and determining what is sort of an abnormal situation. In this case, in this situation, what we found was that a um, the ambulance had a green light to go through the intersection, but what was happening in an abnormal situation was that a car was crossing through the intersection with a red light. That was an abnormal situation. Our video analytics would be able to detect that and provide the information to the network to be able to alert the ambulance driver through the heads-up display of an impending collision, and they could then take action. So on the left-hand side, in the, we have what is shown is the, uh, in the orange bar is the imminent collision section. So this is the uh, area where we're actually providing this alert to the ambulance driver in the heads-up display. The red bar represents the braking reaction time. On the right-hand side, um, you can see uh, without the technology, the uh, imminent collision bar is still uh, progressing. And the reason why they haven't been actually able to take action is because they can't see around this uh, delivery van that's blocking the view of the amb ambulance driver. So they can't really see the car until um, it's, it becomes too late. And if we proceed through the rest of the um, animation here, we show 
that um, the total amount of time to um, stop the vehicle with the technology is about 46 meters, whereas without the technology, uh, it's about 74 meters. And the reason is that um, on the uh, side without the technology, the driver really couldn't react until they got clear of the, amp of the delivery van, and then they were able to react. But by the time they reacted, the um, car was traveling too fast to be able to stop and avoid the accident. Whereas on the left-hand side with the technology, uh, we were able to react earlier in time by providing that heads-up display alert. And therefore, we were able to uh, show that we were able to uh, stop the vehicle before the um, ambulance hit the vehicle. The, um, the capability that we show here so is that we have about a 37% reduction in the total stopping distance between the, with the technology versus the technology. And we show here in our network that we were able to achieve a network latency of around 2 milliseconds. So how, what are the um, solution components uh, for this, uh, uh, so, uh, for, to deliver this service? Well, there are three products that are part of this solution. The first is our AirScale uh, radio access product. And that product um, actually has uh, new capabilities that are defined in Release 15 that uh, reduce the transmission time interval, or the TTI. Um, in LTE today, that TTI interval is about one millisecond. And with this new uh, capabilities as part of Release 15, um, we can reduce the uh, transmission time interval to 0.14 milliseconds. So that reduces the overall latency of the radio access network. The second part of our solution is our Cloud Packet Core. And our Cloud Packet Core is a cloud-native architecture that has the throughput and flexibility and performance to be able to deliver uh, the services uh, required for this application. We utilize in our Cloud Mobile Gateway uh, control user plane separation, or CUPS architecture. This again is defined in the standards. And the reason we uh, separate the control and the user plane into separate virtual instances is because we want to move the user plane closer to the edge data center. This provides a lower overall network latency, so the traffic is all locally running through the cloud edge data center. The last piece of our solution is our impact scene analytics. And impact scene analytics provides the collision detection at the cloud edge. And what it does is actually uh, analyze the uh, uh, video streams at that intersection and then abstracts the information about motion and velocity and dwell and abstracts that into information vectors that then are um, analyzed and machine learned to understand what is a normal situation. So when there is an abnormal situation, as in this case where uh, a, a, a car was crossing through a red light, we can provide the information about that uh, uh, abnormal event up into the network and then notify the ambulance July, uh, driver through the heads-up display. So that's our solution. Uh, it's three products, AirScale, Cloud Packet Core with CUPS architecture, and Impact Scene Analytics. And this is uh, an example of how to deliver new services over an existing LTE network with uh, low latency capabilities. Thank you very much.